What's up everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. And yes, Wanda from Love and Marriage Huntsville, she actually went live on her YouTube channel again tonight to respond to Kiki's response to her train wreck of a live that happened last night. So as you can see from the title of this video, I titled it The Last Word, Wanda Unleashes Again. So clearly she has to have the last word. And as you can see from the thumbnail, I put in the pride for the fall, almost referencing the scripture that pride comes before a fall. And so, of course, I don't want to speak negatively over anyone saying that anyone is falling, but certainly Wanda is operating from a place of pride. And I do have some sound bites that I want to share with you all. So let's jump into this first one where she wants to make something very clear. I'm jealous of him? What I got to be jealous of? What do I have to be jealous of? Look at what I got. Oh, look at what they got and look what I got. And tell me the reason why I got to be jealous. I got how many cars out there? How many cars I got out there? Four cars, y'all. Four. What reason I got to be jealous? So Wanda, just to set the scene for you all, she has relatives, including another brother, that she calls during the live to vouch for her that number one, she isn't jealous of anyone. She also has relatives who are physically in the house with her and she's wanting them to vouch for her that she is not jealous of anyone, as well as other points that she'll be making. She wants these people to almost be like witnesses for her. So I do have a soundbite of her calling up another brother to vouch for her. And Wanda did say in the beginning of the video that she has eight siblings and her parents had nine children total. Oh, and before I forget, please hit the like button on this video. I would really appreciate it. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. All right, let's get into the next soundbite. Okay, my I want to ask you a question. I sent you that video about what Marvin was saying that I was lying. Now, after you looked at that video, do you think I was lying about anything that I say? No. Okay, Marvin said that I was lying about Kiki, and he said that I was jealous all my life. I've been jealous of Kiki. Now, this is one of my brothers, okay? My other brothers. I got some more on my video, y'all. So I'm telling you, I got nine brothers and sisters. Wait a minute. He said, I didn't go to school. Uh, she said, I didn't go to school. I worked at the fifth. And how long have I been working at the school? How many years? I got all my folks on the phone. Listen, y'all. Listen to them. that she asked her brother to vouch for her that she is not jealous and that, you know, she's just really in shock that her brother, who's Kiki's dad, actually had his daughter's back. It's almost like Wanda feels like Kiki's dad should um, have top loyalty to her because simply just because they're family, they're siblings, but he should not have that strong loyalty for his own daughter. So then Miss Wanda actually makes an insinuation about Kiki, and it is rather explosive. That she is still on that shit. And you're making me mad. I'm sorry, brother. I know you didn't want me to go there. I know you didn't want me to go there, bitch. I know you didn't want me to go there. 
But I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I'm tired of her lying on me. I got I can bring a whole crew in here. But she said, I don't have an education. I don't have a, an education, ma'am. Yeah, you can go to the Thank you. Uh, and then it's all have food service. Hey, go right here. It's my service. Right here, y'all. They said I didn't have it. They said I did not have it. Here it go, in your face. So Miss Wanda is definitely, number one, she's making family members choose a side by having some of them join her YouTube live and vouch for her. Secondly, like I said in my video from last night, you know, if you just say something remotely negative or judgmental about her or Tish, then she actually goes very low. She goes way below the belt. She is trying to embarrass you and make sure that you feel her punch. So it's ironic, Kiki's mom actually posted on her IG stories that you know strong people forgive and intelligent people ignore. And definitely Miss Wanda has not learned the skill of ignoring. Miss Wanda, you don't have to respond to every single thing that people say about you that you do not like. You do not have to respond to it all. And you have started your own YouTube channel. Why don't you get creative, you know, or give your commentary on various different TV shows? Just like how, you know, I'm giving commentary on your content tonight, but your content was like literally bashing your niece and her mom again. But definitely think about learning to ignore. If you can ignore someone, you're not operating from a place of pride because it doesn't matter to you about having the last word. All right. And then she made that explosive insinuation about Kiki. Again, I think that was just to embarrass her. But she is still mad at some bloggers. She really seems to really care about what people say about her. And I think that's what causes her to get so angry. Big, uh, big girl, you know I always have talked to you. So you gonna play me? I know you keep you free, that's why I wouldn't even let you up yesterday, cause you full of shit. You full of shit, girl. You full of mess. You full of it. And I didn't know you was like that. I, I appreciate what um, Don Don said at first. I appreciate it because I don't have no reason to lie on my niece, and y'all gonna figure her out too. Just keep living, baby. Just keep letting her fool y'all. Just let her keep on fooling y'all. Y'all gonna see. And then y'all gonna sit down and tell me, oh, the reason why she taking drug tests every day because she chews the thing. I went, I went down to the day and asked them, how much is a drug test for me to take every day? And I wanna know how much it was. Uh, you know what they told me? $259 to take a drug test every other day. Who got that money to do? See, I already know what the situation is. I know why you're doing it, Kiki. Quit playing with me. You and all this little scenario you got written up behind you, girl. You can call, you can do 50 interviews if you want to. I don't care, because after the night, I have set my rapper straight, baby. I'm not a liar. You got my brother up here, live for you, and I'm happy for it. I'm so good with it, okay? I'm good with it. So when I so obviously she has like her triggers, like because I mean she's known bloggers who have criticized her for a long time now. But I feel like that anger that she had in her voice and the tone of her voice, it was because this blogger was supportive of Kiki and Kiki's dad. So Kiki and her parents are definitely triggers for Miss Wanda. This situation with this family feud between her and Kiki, we're actually learning a lot about Wanda. Okay, so Miss Wanda actually feels like someone is crossing boundaries. But I don't know if I love people like that, though. It's, that went too far. She went too far. Y'all just don't know. Kiki called and cussed me out on the phone about a month ago. I mean, called me everything but the child was gone. Ask anybody did I say one thing to her. I had three of my nieces on the phone, and they can tell you. Courtney, Tiffany, 
And one more person's on the phone. Kiki cussed me out. I let that blow over. But no more? Mm-mm. I'm not letting, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I can't keep on letting no child cuss me out and expect for me to be the biggest one. I'm not going to be the biggest one. I'm not. I'm sorry. Yes, so she actually said that Kiki has gone too far. Now, you all are so smart. So many of you put in the comments about how Miss Wanda projects onto others. You know, she did a lot of projecting on Kiki's mom, uh, talking about, you know, how her mom may have been into a boy as a teenager, which is very, very normal. And, you know, she is now saying what we say about her, about going way below the belt, doing too much. Now she says that it is Kiki who has gone too far. So allegedly, Miss Wanda said that Kiki had an uh, alleged inappropriate relationship with the student at the college where she worked. So Kiki has responded regarding that. And Miss Wanda has this to say. That I was dealing with a dude in the college. You told me that, and you never told me it was your your uh your um your husband. She never told me that. She never told me. She was right. She said she told me, and she knew what she told me. I'm gonna let Kiki, I'm gonna let Kiki hang herself. I'm gonna let Kiki hang herself. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And y'all gonna see. With the whole deport thing, y'all gonna see all of it. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. Wonder was not lying. Wonder was not lying. Mm. I'm just gonna let y'all see y'all see. Yeah, so Kiki was saying that she was dating her husband when he decided to go back to school. But according to Miss Wanda, she was not aware of that. So, Miss Wanda. I feel like you hearing that Kiki allegedly dated someone inappropriately at the college. You heard that during hearsay, like gossip. And you probably did not know all of those details. And then you did not know that it was actually her husband. So I don't think that Kiki just shared that with you like, hey, auntie, you know, I'm dating somebody at the university where I work. And so you just didn't have all of the, the details of the tea. You just had a little bit of it. And then now you're getting all of the details. And, you know, that happens too sometimes where, like, people, they'll be assumptive about you. And then once you, you know, correct them, then they're almost mad that, like, you didn't tell them all your business. You didn't give them all the details. But you all don't, you're not owed an explanation. Kiki doesn't owe anyone an explanation. She does not have to answer to anyone but God. Nobody is better than her. And that's just the truth. So then we get some light shed upon, you know, the fact that Wanda hasn't been this super duper close a loved one or aunt to Kiki. She says it herself. I didn't know this girl since she was 13 years old. I didn't know Kiki. I did not. So you know all this was a lie. 13 years old when I met this young lady. All through her babies, I never known her. She even said herself her mama took her away from here. So I never met this young lady. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I never be ashamed of what they hear me. 
So she actually admits that she did not know Kiki until Kiki was 13 years old. She said that her mom, you know, took her away from everyone, you know, in that area on Wanda's side of the family. So my whole thing is if you didn't meet the young lady until she was 13, you know, it actually adds to the argument of she doesn't have any loyalty to you and Tish, you know, because if you didn't meet her until she was 13 and perhaps you didn't establish this super duper close relationship at 13, especially the way that you're putting it, why should she have any blind loyalty? The way you're putting it out there, you don't know the person, you don't know the chick. So then, um, also, I want to point out the relative, her brother, who was saying, you know, people acted a certain way because we grew up in the projects. Now, I can't speak to Kiki or any of their relatives who may have treated them a certain way. It's obvious that you all have some sort of divide and you feel a way because you feel like people in the family have discriminated against you because you grew up in the projects. So if... If y'all are trying to be one unit, I guess there's some letting go that you all have to do. But again, you know, Miss Wanda, you talk a really good game. But if you and your siblings are feeling away because you all grew up in the projects, don't care. Just don't care about what others have to say about you. Don't worry about how others view your education level. If I were you, I would say, well, yeah, I may not have finished school or I may have had my babies young, but look how my daughter defeat the odds and she broke the cycle and she actually is college educated and got married and had kids at a later age than I had her. So despite my life story, it wasn't her life story. That's how you should portray your narrative. It shouldn't be all this venom when someone gives you a hint of criticism. But let's move on. So she actually makes a judgment on Kiki about being educated. We don't deal with it. We don't have to from the project. I'm very, very educated when you come up, okay? Now, but somebody said that I did not get a diploma. Hey, girl, you got a whole diploma from high school, from the college. You just a professional. But you acting like me. So what make that seem like? What? 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 what is getting all of it? Now, this type of comment we hear often, like um, for someone who has a college degree, if you go into a different field, it's, oh, my gosh, you earn your degree in this and you're not even using it. That's often said by people who don't have at least the bachelor's degree. No offense. Every single person who is um, not educated, not every single person who's uneducated is negative, but some people are negative and that's their judgment. And I want to say that it is very common for you to earn your bachelor's degree in one thing and God may steer your life down another path. The purpose of the bachelor's degree, unless you're going to be like a teacher, nurse, or an attorney, or really just like a nurse or a teacher where you're going to be certified, licensed in something, the bachelor's degree just shows that you know how to meet a long-term goal. You can have focus and patience and meet a very long-term goal. And then, you know, the master's degree may be in something that you've learned that you actually have a passion for or that you're interested in going into from your current job after earning your bachelor's degree. So I say that to say, you know, Wanda is judging Kiki saying, oh, yeah, you're educated, but you act like me. Number one, Wanda, you're putting yourself down again. It's almost like she sees herself in very gutter ways and she's actually portraying the way that she sees herself. It's kind of sad. And number two, I hate it whenever a person who is educated maybe kind of does get with someone. Oh, wow, you're acting like that. You're acting like me and you're so educated, you know, on the flip side. Oh, you just have a degree. You're not all that. But then, oh, look at how you act and you're supposed to be so educated. It's gaslighting. So that's kind of an unfair shake. But I just wanted to point that out. 
All right. And then Miss Wanda has to throw in something that's oh so out there. And I'm just going to leave it right there. Here we go. I was with dope. Just I was around a whole lot of dope, dope heads and stuff like that. Where I was around with dope heads? I was around with some dope dealers. Exactly. And when me and him broke up, I started fooling with bro- bro- dope dealers. Yep. Because <laughs> I love that money, baby. I am a money bitch. Yep. I love money. Money, money, money. You got to have it. Money, money, money. You can't do Okay, so Miss Wanda, I'm sure I hope that was just all capping just for entertainment purposes, but I had to throw that in there, Miss Wanda, because that is signature Wanda from Love and Mary Chunsville to say something outlandish like that. But I have a feeling it may very well be the truth. So just don't say too much. You never know who's watching. All right, and then she makes another suggestion about Kiki. Joe, I know that you don't go get around the drug test just to get them because you can't afford to pay for them. Now go down to y'all, y'all workplace and go down to y'all courthouse and ask them, you want to do a, a round the girl, girl test every week and you want to know what color your color coming up at. Baby, you got to be on somebody's probation, period. You got to be on some type of probation. To get Rama Girl test. And then I said about her mama because her mama going behind the scene talking about Wanda. Now, I do want to say this. When it comes to Miss Connie, like I said a few minutes ago, definitely Kiki and her parents are triggers for Wanda. And I think that it goes back to Wanda and her siblings feeling like some family members look down upon them because they grew up in the projects. That was like a big thing. And if you all struggled to hear what her siblings had to say, she didn't really set up her audio as the best. I think she had her phone while it was on speaker. It was kind of away from her laptop speaker when she was live. But basically, that was the gist of what a lot of them were saying, that people thought that you know, they were better than them because they grew up in the projects. But I do feel like she's trying to bait Kiki's mom, Miss Connie. She wants Miss Connie to respond to her the way that Wanda responds to her daughter. And Miss Connie is very self-controlled because we have not heard her give much of a response. And like I said, on her IG stories, she posted earlier today, you know, strong people forgive, intelligent people ignore, you know, and I just thought that was so profound and so true, you know, but um, Beyonce does a lot of ignoring, right? She pays people dust and that's what Miss Connie is doing. But I do feel like Wanda is trying to bait her because obviously Miss Connie doesn't give her any energy. But y'all let me know in the comments what you think about Wanda having to get the last word and her being so angry about her brother siding with Kiki. Like the brother and Kiki, they're expected to have blind loyalty for Wanda and Tish, but should you go against what they expect? Oh my gosh. The G-U-N-S ablazing. But please hit the like button on this video and please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit if you have not already done so. You all have a great night and an amazing Friday. We made it to the end of another work week. Thank God. Take good care. Bye-bye.